What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Monday. Doing real good myself, and I hope you guys have had a very, very nice, relaxing weekend. I had a nice one. It just went too fast as usual. But I've come across this particular video on TikTok that I felt like it really needed to be addressed, okay? Uh, there are some claims being made by this lady right here that you see before you about Viet Fire Kitchen in uh, Ashburg, Virginia. If you guys have ever eaten there, um, especially if you are um, one of the people of the book, actually when I say that I mean black people, you understand, maybe you should question, you understand uh, what they're serving, okay? Because according to this lady, it's nothing nice. So let's get into this particular uh, video right here, then we'll do the commentary. Good morning, my fellow TikTokers. I want you guys to please listen to what I have to say. Please watch this video till the end. Do not pass. And I'm asking you guys to share. I don't want you to follow. You don't have to follow, it would be nice. You don't have to like it, it would be great. But please share this video. The evil of this world is beyond me. The plague of evil that consumes people's spirit is beyond my comprehension. And because I'm a child of God, I will never understand that. This restaurant here in Ashburn, Virginia, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, so I can't burn it down, okay? My daughter and my son-in-law went there last night to have a nice evening out. And I'm not sure if it, this if, it, if they stored this in the refrigerator or it's something they do when a black person comes into the restaurant, but someone wrapped shit in a wrap, fried it and served it to my family, to my daughter, who is such an amazing woman. My daughter is such a humble soul. She wouldn't hurt a fly. That's why I'm telling people, you gotta be careful who you trust, where you go to eat, who is bringing you food in Uber Eats or Grubhub or whatever. That's so why for me, I shop at the same place, I eat at the same restaurant, and I get familiar and friendly, genuinely friendly with the people that serves me. Because people are just wicked. We think only white people hate black people. Black people hate freaking black people. So why not Vietnamese? and others please if you're a black person you've been to this restaurant more than likely you've been you've been served shit to eat my son-in-law is such a germaphobe he is he has severe ocd he was so sick last night the mental thought of what they did to my family they went to the emergency room and thank god Okay, bacteria doesn't store in, 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 in our stomach due to the acid. However, there is E. coli that can kill someone. That can do serious damage to someone's health. Please share. Share this video, please. You don't have to follow me or like it. Just share it. Be careful where you eat. Good morning, First of all, I'd like to say shout out to Midnight Sunshine on 69 Love. Just well, Midnight was at Midnight Sunshine 69 Love on TikTok. Y'all go over there and check her out. Now let's talk about this uh, Viet uh, Fire Kitchen in Ashburn, well, Ashburn, Virginia. Such a beautiful, nice dining room that they have that you see before you here. But what good is a nice, beautiful dining room when you're doing, allegedly, doing things like serving people fried shit? You understand? Uh, if this restaurant is employing uh, scum of the earth, lowlifes that are doing things like this, then you are complacent. You are complacent with what your employee is doing. You understand? 
And therefore, yeah, like the lady said, you should be burned down, to be honest with you. And whoever did something that's so heinous that would do some shit like this, as uh, far as I'm concerned, you know, you are eligible for capital punishment. Let's just put it like that. Because when you start playing with other people's food, you understand, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's a deal breaker. And uh, you honestly don't give a damn what you are doing to that person at that time. You Basically, you are poisoning these people. And poisoning means, a lot of times, uh, death. So therefore, that's what you should get back in return. You understand? When you do look nasty shit like this. You understand? I don't know how uh, they could have passed off fried shit. But, hey... <laughs> You know, you got motherfuckers know how to do all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? I think I seen that movie, The Help, <laughs> where the uh, the lady in the movie actually, you know, made some pies. You know, she was a, a indentured servant or whatever she was. You know, she made pies out of shit. And them white people loved it. You know, well, we don't do shit like that. In society, you know, when you go into a restaurant, you're going for the convenience and the experience, you understand, of a nice evening out where you can just relax, kick back, have a nice meal, enjoy yourself with uh, whomever you are with, you know, not to be treated as some kind of dog, okay? It's a lot of dogs when you eat shit, you know, and what have you. And uh, this was a very, very cowardly act. You understand? A lot of times, you know, uh, we come across stories, for example, where out of the blue, somebody might be just ran up on and shot or just beaten down. You understand? I mean, I'm talking about beaten down, stabbed to death, whatever. We don't know why. We never get the gist of why this actually happened to this person. And we shake our heads and say that, you know, crime is just off of the chain in this country and just get tired of people doing all this crime and weird shit, you know? But you know what? I bet you a lot of the people who, who did these things happen to had it coming. Like these assholes or asshole that work at the Viet Fire Kitchen in Ashburn, Virginia. They had it coming. Let's just say, for example, you understand, uh, like this lady right here said, this happened to her daughter and her son-in-law. You understand what I mean? And they go back and investigate and find out who did this shit and drag his motherfucking ass out and do something real bad to him for doing this to their food. You couldn't blame the person for wanting to do that. See? And a lot of these type of situations are taking place in this country because you got a lot of wicked ass evil doing bastards don't that don't give a damn about their fellow man or fellow sister okay that's just what it is so uh hopefully you know uh this lady's uh daughter and son comes through this and um too i want to say um as you see the title says we need to watch where we eat best place to eat is at home because you cannot trust these motherfuckers for one bit you cannot trust them so the only way to make sure nothing like this happens to you just cook your food at home you understand as a matter of fact a lot of these restaurants talking that shit anyway if you ain't vax you no service and all that okay fine fuck you See how well you do without the people any damn way. You see what I'm saying? You ain't but one step from closing your doors anyhow. So what? You know? But yeah, people, cook your food at home. You know what I mean? And then that way you ain't got to worry about things like this happening to you. You know? That's all I got on this one. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when I say like... Thumbs up. Let's do a thumbs up challenge, my people. Thumbs up challenge. Thumb this video up. A lot of people need to see this video right here. You understand? Um, that's all I got on this one. Uh, like I said, uh, oh, 
people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James and I'm out. Peace.